Good morning, Waterway Church. It's Thursday morning, April 18th. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, as we keep going through our read through the Bible in a year plan, uh, right now we're in the book of Kings, but we've been reading through First and Second Samuel. We'll go through First and Second Kings, and then we'll get through Chronicles, talking about all the uh, royal actions that happen and occur in Israel. And I'm just struck as we go through all this stuff and all this drama, and even as I think about events in Israel in the last hundred years and today, I'm struck and still stuck on 1 Samuel chapter 8. This is when Israel asked for a king. They said to Samuel, they said, um, You are old, your sons don't walk in your ways. Now appoint a king to lead us, such as all the other nations have. So God had been their king, and, and in fact, God is still their king. But the people of Israel had called out and said, God, we want to be like everybody else. We don't want you to be our earthly leader. We want some kind of person to be our king. And then... Samuel called out to God and said, what do I do? And God said, well, do all that the people are saying to you. It is not you they have rejected, but they have rejected me as their king. And then God said in 1 Samuel 8, 9, listen to them, but warn them solemnly and let them know what the king who will reign over them will do. And so in 1 Samuel 8, 10, Samuel told all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, this is what the king who will reign over you will do. He'll take your sons and make them basically go to the army. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards and olive groves and give them to his attendants. He will take a tenth of your grain and your vintage and give it to his officials and attendants. And so on and so forth. All of these things that the king would, would extract from Israel. But the people refused to listen to Samuel. They said, no, we want a king over us. Then we will be like all the other nations with a king to lead us and to go out before us and fight our battles. And I just wonder how that's working out today. I wonder any time in the last 3,000 years if the Israelites regretted this call, if they said, boy, we, we wish we would have continued to let God be our king. What would have been different? What might have changed if they had let God be their king instead of just having some earthly person step into the role? Just a thought for you today. Hope you have a blessed Thursday. Keep digging in, keep reading the Bible, and keep thinking about what it means for your life. See you at Waterway.